I think the veterinary practice managers need to convey a sense of authority, a sense of calmness, a sense of respectability. Uh, I always say that I would say to practice managers, look, at the, on the intellectual side, what you need is to be intellectually formidable enough to spar with your doctor. And if you can't do that, you're always going to be playing one down. And I think we have a profession where we kowtow to doctors, where doctors are viewed as people who are somewhat infallible. And they don't think that. It's just the projection we put on them. And so part of it is being able to be a peer, not an equal, but a peer with your doctor, and so that's a piece of it. A part of it is conveying to the client that you are in control of a situation. And so my advice in that arena is always dress one step above what your target client is. So if I worked in an inner city practice and my target client were college kids that you know wore uh, cut off jeans and uh, beer t-shirts, I would say that it would be okay for us to have a practice manager that wore uh, jeans and a t-shirt that didn't have beer slogans on it that maybe was just one color. But if you work in a nice subdivision in Kansas City where there's a high, uh, a high clientele, if you will, a clientele that makes above average income, then your goal is probably to dress a little bit above where that they dress because something happens psychologically with us. When we see somebody that's put together better than us, it instantly makes us respect them and instantly makes us think that they have their act together.